connectors welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel hit subscribe join the family if you like good food it's the place to be i come and have a little fun with your girl kc what's up my connectors and welcome back to the channel today we are doing a challenge so i was challenged by as you can tell in the title and i think on the thumbnail i was challenged by sam's world and this is called her let me look because you know i will mess up something in a heartbeat this is sam's world spicy noodle seafood bowl challenge but anyway so uh let me before i get started if you're new to the channel if you could please hit your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded don't forget to share like and leave me a comment i truly do appreciate it and welcome to all the new connectors welcome to the family baby we're glad to have you come have some fun chit chat with us but anyway <laughs> the object is to Take a bowl or whatever you want to put it in, but you have to have two packs of spicy noodles and then you could top it with whatever seafood you like, your favorite seafood or um, as much seafood as you like. So that's all you have to do, but you have to finish the noodles. I think that's it. Sam, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I think that's all you have to do. So y'all know I'm excited. So I got some spicy noodles at the bottom. I got the Magoran spicy noodles. Oh, Kiana. Can you bring me the pack so they can see which one I got? So they don't think I'm lying. <laughs> and I have Dungeness crab, I have snow crab, I have clams, and I have uh, shrimp. So that's what's in my bowl. That's what I chose to have. The, oh, okay. Thank you. All right, so this, these are the noodles I chose to use, and it is hot and spicy. Migoran noodles. I, I don't know how to pronounce all of it, but I'll just put it right here so y'all can see. So those are the noodles I chose to use. And we're gonna dig in because it's probably it's been they've been sitting up here waiting on me. So I hope y'all doing well today. I don't know what day this video is going up, so I can't say happy whatever. Mmm. Oh, they're hot. I thought I was doing something. Trying to get away from the spicy two time and all that stuff. Oh, I should have put a boiled egg in him. It's okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, y'all know we probably gonna have to lay these down so we can see. I can't see nothing, child. And these put it to the side. So, yeah. I'm feeling goofy. <laughs> I always have to give that disclaimer because I don't want people like, what's wrong with her? <laughs> what's up with her? I'm just feeling good. Oh, um, my apologies. Peach is here with us. Say hey, Peach. Don't be rude. And I don't have Bertha on. I have her sitting up on a, a thing. So hopefully, oh, they're coming out good. Don't worry about it. I thought I was going to have to turn her on. Hold on, y'all. Put it over a little bit. And I just got some garlic butter here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, sorry, y'all. So, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. I recorded a video yesterday, y'all, so I don't want y'all to think I'm slipping. But it was late. And I was like... Y'all know how I feel about not commenting at all. So I was like, I'm sleeping. Excuses. Still making excuses, ain't it? But I have it. I don't know if I, I'm going to put this one up right now or the other one. So we'll see. We will, we will see. Come on, don't play with my meat. Hold on, y'all. I might have to go stick them in the oven. Because you know how you, uh, when you forget one thing and you go in the room you get distracted and the food just be sitting here? That's why everybody got warm now. You know? Mm. God, dog. I'm thinking it's good. It's so pretty outside, y'all. I'd be grateful for pretty days. I don't know if I'm the only one, but good gracious. There it go. No meat left behind. Mm. 
No pink ever. Huh. Let's get us something to eat first and then we're going to chit chat. Chit chat, click clack. I bet you like it like that. Mm. Come on, pretty girl. Mm. Let's open peach. Y'all probably can see this thing sitting under him. But I put a towel so I can catch some of the stuff in the front and the back. And I be dropping stuff. I just be dropping stuff. Thank you to everybody that's still congratulating me. Thank you so much. I was trying to catch everything and everybody and I just, I couldn't keep up. And I, I am overwhelmed and humbled by, with all the love and support. I really am. I can't say it enough. I can't say it. Ooh. Comfortable. Comfortable. So that's a cute little challenge. So I appreciate being tagged. <clears throat> a lot of them time challenges just too spicy. This one's not too bad. Some of the other I was watching Angelina do her um two times spicy noodle. <laughs> and I don't I don't mean to laugh at people, but baby. Hmm. I was laughing. And then let me tell you. I was watching RDR last night. RDR food reviews. I see something wrong with him. <laughs> That's my brother. Okay, so I can talk about him. Something is wrong with him. He took the um rotisserie chicken. Y'all know the rot rotisserie chicken, the whole chicken. And pour it two times spicy all over it. With a bed of two times spicy noodles. I think there was two times spicy noodles at the bottom. And he was like, yeah, this should be a challenge. You're damn right that's a challenge because I ain't never doing it. <laughs> never. Two times spicy. All He ate the whole rotisserie chicken. He was hollering and carrying on at the end. <laughs> but he ate the whole thing. He like, I think he, I don't think he ate all them noodles though. But that's just crazy. I can't, I can't keep up with that. I'm not doing, I'm not, I'm not jumping out there following y'all here. Yeah? yeah, me laid up four days. I'm just bite this y'all. I know that is not lady like him. <laughs> you ain't no lady. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, no, nah, bro, mm-mm. Mm -mm. And then the funny part is he go um I was talking to him and he told me you think I should do it? Yeah, so you you go ahead. <laughs> you know how people be like, I ain't doing it, you go ahead though. Yeah. You go ahead, bro. You going on with that. I'm not doing that. So like Oh man, I dropped my meat. I'll be up for about twenty four hours trying to recover. No, no. I said no, no. But yeah, both of those were good. I just fell miserably. At least everybody killing it though. My mouth was on fire. Yeah, I come up with another shine. Cause I, I'm no, not no come with all that spicy. I can't. Ooh, my stomach would be ooh, on fire. But the funny part is when I did that two times the wings, my stomach didn't hurt. My mouth was just on fire. Like around my lips and stuff. Oh, I just came. But yeah, this one's pretty cool. I can do this one. Mm-hmm. 
Can I see that? Oh, that garlic. I love garlic, y'all. Especially with seafood. It's so good. My little raggedy lemon. It's okay. Mm. It's good, though. I had to tell y'all about mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm probably I have to write stuff down because I sure don't be remembering I do not remember I was supposed to tell y'all something, but I can't remember what it was. Sorry. I already know what y'all gonna say. Auntie, write it down. I'm doing the best I can. I don't bother nobody. <laughs> I don't bother nobody. I'm just doing the best I can. Kiana got some strawberries and whipped cream in her. That's what we gonna have in the after party. Ooh, come on out, meat. Show sure them. So let me tell y'all this. You know, I got a um, comment. Was it a comment or inbox? At this point, I don't remember. Comment, email, inbox. I can't. <laughs> I apologize. I don't know which one. Well, it's anonymous anyway, so it doesn't matter which way it came from. It's just that it came. But she said, it amazes her how I support other women. And where did that come from? Basically, how did how did that start? How did you go about doing that? Because not everybody does that, right? So, I was like, that's actually a really good question. It really is. So I said, I answered it, but I will answer it on here as well. But the reason I like doing that is because I know what it feels like. And I think I've said this before to accomplish something and you're thinking that the women you're around will celebrate you. And they actually, in actuality, they start to envy you or treat you different. So I know what that felt like. So I never wanted to be that girl. I never wanted to do that. Because you know how sometimes if you see an attractive girl who, you know, that kept herself up and she's very pretty. And immediately you have somebody say, I don't like her. She thinks she all that. And I'm like, oh, what she said? <laughs> I mean, she just said hi. But why you don't like her? I don't know. She just looked like she 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 looked like she thinks she all that. She looked like she thinks she all that. And you know, that's just a, a weak excuse. Because the woman came past balls and said hi. How does she think she all that? And the mere fact that she's confident in who she is, because she done what, worked out, she done took care of herself, and she tried to look presentable when she's in public, a lot of times that happens, even in like high schools. High schools, work places, you immediately judge a person based on how they look. Not knowing anything about them. Not knowing what they've been through. Not knowing what they've overcome. You just immediately judge it because... Mm. Oh, mm -mm. 
And I was like, I don't ever want to be that girl. I don't ever want to be her. When I see a sister who doesn't win in the gym, now how in the world I'm going to be jealous of her? I'm sitting here with two big mites and a large fry. I ain't no way in the world I'm going to be jealous of that girl because she, she take care of herself. And she fit. And stuff like that. And even like confident, voluptuous, curvy women, but you know they confident and they bad. And you just be like, go on, sis. That's who I've always wanted to be. So instead of getting angry at people who are not like that, be who you want to see, rather. Be that girl you want to see us all be like. So you be the example. And eventually, the people that are around you will have to either gravitate to the same personality or same characteristics you have. Or you will just remove yourself from those type of people. Because if you are immediately intimidated by what somebody has or how they look, then I can't, I can't be around you because you're constantly comparing yourself to them and you're disliking them and mistreating them because of your insecurities. I remove myself. So that, that's why I love supporting and showing love and things like that because I don't know what that sister been through. She's never done anything to me and to just look at her and prejudge her, I ain't doing that. I love women keep, keeping themselves up. I'm going to be jealous and intimidated while I sit on the couch and watch TV all day. And she go out there running four or five miles. Come on now. It doesn't matter what size you are. It's just that you're, you're confident in you. You may have overcome an abusive relationship. You may have overcome losing your baby. Failing in school. Mm -mm. And you have to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, why am I like that? And fix it. We are all beautiful. And we all look different. And, you know, it doesn't matter what size you are, what color you have, none of that stuff. And I think we should, sorry, the camera cut off y'all. But yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be that person. So I try to be the person I want to see. I want to see us all <clears throat> happy for each other. Creating this whole like movement of us sticking together and shining together. And putting each other on and. So, creating these dynamic teams of women standing shoulder to shoulder and hand to hand with so many different talents. That's why I say, if you, if you have a talent or a passion, whether it's doing hair, real estate, doctor, whatever it is, do it. Because it's, I, I'm serious when I say we need each other. Mm. So I told y'all, in 2020, I'm about to be a model. Y'all push me. <laughs> it might be a hot sauce model. I don't know what it might be. But it's, it's gonna, somebody going to beat my face. I've always wanted makeup artists beat my face. Um, Cause I don't know what I'm doing. And um, somebody gonna dress me. And and somebody gonna take a picture. So we need photographers. We need a uh, 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 stylist. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. So I need help. <laughs> so that's why I say you wanna build a team. We need somebody to know about finances and all that. So we need each other to tap into our passions. Because if you're good at something, it just come natural. That's what you want on your team. Y'all all just work together. 
and we need it across the nations. So follow your dreams. Go tap into your passion. Go back to school. Whatever you want to do. Because there's somebody out there that's ready to work with you, believe it or not. And y'all gonna see me no bad. Godly, her goofy self said it. <laughs> she said she was gonna be doing something. And look goofy, y'all did it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Watch them. But yeah, I like that because you can't beat that. So that's where it comes from. I'm just trying to be the person I want to see. The woman I would want every woman to be. If it starts with me, then it can spread abroad so everybody around me can be the same way. Because if you are more around me, I have a relationship with you, I like you, then we are going to be that type of woman. You know what I mean? We're going to lift each other up. We're going to hold each other's hand. And when you hold your head down, I'm going to lift your head up without telling anybody what happened to you. That's the type of women I want to be around. That's who I want to surround myself with. And that's who I want to always represent. So that's where that comes from. And that was an excellent question. And I hope y'all ain't out here buying crabs and losing teeth like me. <laughs> I'm sorry. We supposed to be serious and stuff. And I, you would pick this today to ask that question. I done had a whole uh, caffeine little coffee thing and feel like I'm on 10. But anyway, that's why. That is why I am the way I am. And celebrating and clapping for my sister. And shout out to, um, I be saying Tanya. Y'all ain't gonna know who she is if I suggest say Tanya. Lady T Sensation. Who just purchased her a home. And I was watching, you know, how she was just, just celebrating and happy that she's able to do this now. And that just thrills me. It just makes me so happy for her. And she's sharing with everybody what she's going through to make it happen. And see, I think that kind of stuff is so good. I know this is probably so cricket, but I apologize. I think that's so good because you're sharing what you have to go through, what they're asking you for. Mm. Ain't nothing in there but garlic. Garlic. Um, and so when the next sister get ready to do it, get her a house, she'll be like, oh, okay, I know Tanya went through this. I know what I got to prepare for. So somebody probably going to buy a house two years from now. And you might think it's a long time, but it's not. So, that kind of stuff. Like I said, we need each other. Even the, the bad stories, like, girl, don't do this because I just messed this up. That's why. And for the little ladies, that's young girls that's coming up. We know we did some stupid stuff when we was teenagers. Stuff that we'll take back if we could. So, and like I said, everybody can't talk to their mom about stuff. Because your mom has certain expectations for you. You come to her saying something she ain't expecting, she might not greet you <laughs> with open arms. And she might not be ready and open to accept certain things. So, if you know you've been through that same thing, you help her. This world is crazy. So, 
that's why you will always see me saying congratulations. And I put, nobody's saying you got to work with every single person. You got to like every single person. And if somebody mistreated you, you got to forget about it. I say forgive them, but you don't have to forget. And I know we all, we don't already talked about the, the difference between forgetting and forgiving and all that kind of stuff. I just don't want to repeat the same thing. Give somebody the opportunity to repeat the same thing. And I know you got to forgive y'all. We ain't going to go into that. Mm. Oh, the noodles good. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't. I just don't want to have to Cause you know, a lot of times people say, "I'm sorry." <laughs> I turn around and do the same thing. I'm sorry. Okay, not mine. I, I just I ain't gonna set myself up to keep repeating the same thing. So yeah, we don't have to work together and all that kind of stuff. But we can be cordial and we ain't gotta drag each other. Oh, them clams bomb, y'all. I ate the whole Dungeness. Good gracious, great girl. I bet y'all said, why you put it in a bowl? Because that's what the challenge name was, but I could have put it in a um, flat thing. <laughs> Messy. But yeah. So that's why, baby girl. That's just why. And I would want, <clears throat> I have a daughter. And I would want her to sound, or surround herself with secure women. You know? Not somebody that's hugging her and pretending to be her friend. But waiting on the first thing to happen. On her downfall or whatever. Um, that's who you got to be scared of. The ones that hug you and say I love you but. I'm talking about people you've known for years. From elementary school to. As an adult. And that's why I thank God every day for my best friend like. That's just, it's a blessing. And I met her when I was 17. And I ain't never have to worry about nobody coming in between us or men, women, nothing. That's a blessing. We never got caught up in that kind of mess right there. If you got sticky with deuces. <laughs> we was out of there. No hard feelings. Now it's time for us to bounce. We done came too far. But yeah. I said I ain't gonna talk y'all head out. Mm-mm-mm. Oh my god, so good. Woo! Act like you know, Mr. Snow. Alright, you can see it's empty. Give me all the meat. All the meat. Act like you know, Mr. Snow. Mm, give me that. Give me that meat. Y'all can't even see this dip. I should have put that up here, huh? At this whole time. I'm sorry. This big old bone. 
But if y'all haven't tried them McGoran noodles, they're good. I like them. So if you do this challenge, child, you ain't got to go get those two times, five times spicy noodles where your throat about to bust out. <laughs> Snatch your whole throat. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Thank you again. Oh, I'm finna eat my shrimp, though. I'm gonna finish my food. Okay, y'all mind? Cause shoot, it's good and I'm hungry. Don't sleep on the big meat. <laughs> my baby brought me a towel. She's so sweet. That's my best friend. Get you a wet towel. This feels good, too. Because the napkins, you'll be one after the other, one after the other. I ain't gonna lie. This was good. Good gracious. Ooh, what if that's the hot, real hot part right there that's sticking together? Mm-mm-mm. Woo! Yes. <clears throat> what else I had to talk to y'all about? So I still gonna say you still left a lot of meat. I think y'all be saying it because I don't chew the thing up. Cause ain't nothing in there. Hear that? <laughs> you hear that? Girl, you talking about eat all these noodles? I'm full. Maybe I shouldn't have packed so much seafood in here. I eat it, bro. Let me take my shrimp out. Actually, I should have Kiana heat my shrimp up. Best friend. No, Can you just put these in there for like 30 seconds? Y'all yeah, better get y'all, best friend. <laughs> What's stress? All right, that's all my noodles. They're all in my lap. Thank God for this towel. I'm a bad. I um. I ran out of garlic butter. <clears throat> I should have made more. Mm. So, like, there's this event going on, right? And then there's some extra footage of Endgame. Let me, let me close my video out. And then I'll uh, entertain you and your brother. All right, I'm going to eat shrimp in the other part. I know I look a whole mess right now. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love you. Bye, y'all.